Hi, and welcome, my name is Chobo, <clears throat> and we're playing this bet we made. So, let's continue uh, our little investigation here. In this area, hey, where are you going? Uh, so, let's, oh, okay, we must make bed. Now we must find... Do we need to find... To take a pillow? No, apparently not. Okay. If you say so. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. S-O... 5-8... Doesn't work. Uh, clean it. There's uh, some stains here. You don't need to clean it. Something in here? Nope. Uh, what's that? that candles? Oh, this is something for your hair. Nothing here. What happened? Nothing here. Okay, okay. Open it. Uh, inspect. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. February 10th. Texas Trust Bank, account holder, saving account number, Marcella Cruz. There was a lot of money. You don't see someone withdraw $5,000 every day. Yeah. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please retain the statement of... Okay, okay. Close. Uh, clean it. So, what do we have here? Oh. Hmm. Oh, a puzzle time, apparently. No, that's right. Okay, it doesn't look like we have everything right now. That it? No, of course not. Okay, so this one must be in here. Oh, this too. 
matches. Okay, and I'll put it here. Okay, this one is at this place. So, uh, what can be... Okay, uh, apparently this one is from that place. So that means that this one is going from here. Okay, looks easy. It's some kind of code. Could I break it? Oh, of course, easy. We know that uh, equal sign is S, 5 is O, uh, W is 8, right? So, at least we know... This one is... S? Press the key to enter a letter or press to clear letter. Can you see where I'm choosing anything? Because I'm not. So what do we need no need to clean it? What's there? Fields provide birth control and plus. So N is a plus sign. The development of a contraceptive pill believed to be an ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. The pill was tested among 218 women, uh, despite reports of some undesirable effects. Dr. Denbaum said the pill shows greater promise for the future. This looks right up Andrew's alley. I wonder if he's read this one. Stranger in the night. But that's uh that's detective, right? I thought that Andrew is into something more I don't know. More classic. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Four letters. No, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. I mean, uh, I'm searching if there is some kind of codes in here. It doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. And in here. No. Wait, we cleaned uh, the shower, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do we need to... Think. No, everything is cool.
So, how does it work? Finally. S. 8 is W. Uh, plus? There's no plus. And equals S, 5 is O. Oh. Huh, that's all we have. Let's see again this uh, ladder. S equals O5 W8. That's all. And we didn't see anything else, right? Hmm. So, uh, this ladder, uh, I mean, this part, uh, I think it must be two, because, like, what else it can be? From two ladders on the and there's the O on the end. Yeah, so this must be T. Let's try it at least. Two. If P is P, tool, I mean P might be T, no, tool, tool, what, there's uh, another word with two O's, cool, or it is uh, A, I think. That must be A. A. And... Wall. A wall. Hmm. Where can get something else? missed it so u is six u six m just line r a p is r so r p d o or zero yeah i i assume that e must be three an RRP, okay. Uh, what does it said to read? Young Anne. A 
Game of hide and seek, excellent woman, the price of salt, angel, someone of a distance. In a lonely place, the blind wall, a stranger in the night, beast in view, the horizontal man, it had to be murder. Murder. So it's just uh, her list to read. Interesting. So we have uh, you is six. Is there a six anywhere? Yes. Okay, M. This must be M. That no. yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Symbols, maybe. Room. Oh, room. Because P is R. To four, the to tour room. So three is E. Wrong direction. Um, what else I have? O is D. There's no O's. Oh, yeah, there's no O's. M use E's. A wall. That yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Symbols, maybe. Okay, thank you for a uh, tip. Or a little hint. Thank you, thank you. Yarn map. This one? E30. Why has lots of purple clothes? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's there. Hi. So, H is this doodle, and I is four. Okay, so A is 2. Do we have it? No. A is 2. B is G. L is uh, like a B, something like that, or D. A is 2. L, yeah, something like that. So it's there, apparently it's her uh, doodle, I mean... Must be their tickets, not his. So he take this from their garbage. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not his, but that means that not. Wait. Mm, I think oh. I have all the supplies I need. That means that it's not him, but their 
stalking her. So, two is a. A. So, four is not a. That yarn map Mr. Morgan wait, wait, has wait, wait, on wait, the wall of 505. Weren't yeah. there some peculiar doodles? Four is Symbols, I. Maybe. Or is I will? Yeah, this G is V. So this doodle is H. I knew it. Again, wrong direction. Um, I four. Yeah, well, we already know that this is L. E three H. This doodle E I is four. So what is this slash? There's a lot of slashes. Um, that's not W. That's not. Why I cannot like cross it on uh, this list on the right? The letters that I already used. Uh, it's can be F. No, that cannot be F. B boats. No. Um. No. C. No. Uh, we have for D is five. No, for five is O of. For D is O or zero. Yeah, there is no something, something like this. Um. F no. N notes, yeah. So this slash is N. Yep. I will leave notes in the vent next to our room. To your room. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. Ooh. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey Beth, it's me. Hey, so how did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. A secret code? Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Who the hell does that? I don't know. But whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. Ah, so the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? No, I think it's 
Blackmail? I don't know. It really looks like blackmail. Blackmail? What makes you say that? Uh, I found a bank statement belonging to Mrs. Cruz. Her account was emptied very recently. Ooh, that's interesting. But it could mean a lot of things. What do you mean? Well, people need their money, especially when they're traveling. Although I have to admit, withdrawing all of it does seem a bit strange. A Is bit. That all you've got to back your theory? Five thousand. I also found a letter from some sort of company, Fernie and Weissman. It mentions a security breach. Targeting the cruises? Just the wife. It seems some of her private information was stolen by someone. Hmm. A large withdrawal and a security breach? That can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Maybe they got something on Mrs. Cruz. Something so bad she had to empty her bank account just to shut them up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I see it, yeah. It could be blackmail for sure. Do you think Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer? Yeah, well, Morgan ha was hired to find the blackmailer. What if the, the Cruises hired him to find the blackmailer's identity? Well, if that's the case, he's pretty lousy at it. I mean, he's taking pictures of them. Stalking them. I'd call that following the wrong target. Maybe he hopes to catch the blackmailer the next time he gets in touch with them. Huh, maybe. I'll go have a look at the vent that's mentioned in the message. Just to be sure we're on the right track. Yeah, good idea, Bean. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew to patch you through to the break room. Alright, enjoy your break. Oh, I will. Yeah, thank you. So, take this uh, list, please. Next to your room. Go away. You solved. Uh, so, did we make everything? Like, we must not be suspicious. Like, everything must be made. Service room first. Then everything else. Can we put that away? Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Yeah, but do we need it? I mean, four letters. I didn't have them. And you no cannot. No combination, no entry. Hmm. Nice. Bernard? I've been waiting for this all Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Next to your room. Where is this vent? Is that it? No. Hmm, I think I have all the supplies I need. Wait, I have seen only one. What what do I need I to do? Leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? I call a bath and true okay, Mrs. Cruz with Maglin blackmailed. Okay. I did it. I cracked the code. I will leave notes. Uh not too bad uh, for one hotel maid, if I say so myself. As for what it all means, well I might need some extra help with that. Treasure among trash. Okay, we have everything, but went. 
I don't see any of them. Oh, there it is. No messages. Let's try another vent. This one? I can't see anything in there. Next to your room. Okay, then it must be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can't see anything in there. Okay, then what went? Is there a went here? Next to elevator? I can't understand. I can't see anything in there. Maybe you need a flashlight? There's no winds in here. Oh, this one. Sophie Boy. Unscrew. Can't open these without a screwdriver. Yeah, exactly. Why? I, I thought so myself. Part. Eugene. Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Uh, Eugene, Bernard tells me there is a cold draft coming from his window and it's turning his office into freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today, Linda. Um, maybe we need to throw it away? Because it's really suspicious. Huh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Okay, I don't like it. No screwdriver. Hmm. What's life without a little challenge? Okay, throw it away. Shop owner against new mental hospital. A group of down downtown Montreal businessmen and shop owners met with Mayor Sartou Fournier last week. To air their grievances concerning the city's recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital on Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, manager of Weston's apartment store, says he and his group will fa fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Will our customers feel safe to come downtown for their shopping needs knowing there are lunatics next door, he said. The hospital would be the first of its kind in Montreal, as patients would be free to come and go as they please. Dr. David Blond, uh, the young psychiatrist behind the initiative, believes that allowing patients to maintain a connection with the outside world will facilitate their full returns to society once their treatment is over. Good one. Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Of course. I wasn't aware of your daughter's condition, dear Eugene. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife. But do not worry, you only 
have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow even in the best of families. As for our, your request, I'm afraid I'm unable to grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and the benefactor of the Clarington, so it will be inappropriate for me to oppose him. Also, considering his great influence in the city, I have no doubt he will manage to prevent his the hospital construction to no matter what. Thank you for your understanding, Bernard. Le Doc. Le Doc. I don't know if that's right. Ah, uh, Eugene, I had no idea. Dear Eugene, a friend of mine has heard from her hairdressers, uh, who heard from her sister-in-law, who works in a sec secretary to the mayor, that the city plans of building on building a new mental hospital right next to the Clarington. Imagine, Dennis could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, I'll keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted as soon as I have more news. Warm wishes. Choice. Yeah, but we have seen this. Uh... What's that? Wait, Sophie, you don't need these. <sighs> I've never seen two people more suited for each other. I hope Eugene's a pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Uh, maintenance. Be like Parker, Barbara, be like Mary. Uh, Barbara always wears appropriate makeup. Mary always makes sure to wear her uniform properly. Uh, that's not it. Wait, does that mean that I need to go down to Bernard to take... Oh, yeah, to Bernard's office. Eugene must be down in Bernard's office. I should go ask him for a screwdriver. Ah, uh, isn't that too much? Okay, let's... Close the door. Yeah, that's easier. So, Bernard's office, we must go to lobby. It's, uh, Miss Bellevent, isn't it? What? Oh, um, Roy. Oh, right. Bernard. Oh, it is Bernard. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Uh, this second indicates a lie. Lies may get you out of a uh, thought spot, but be careful not to get caught in a lie. And now I need no, a screwdriver. I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, loose vent. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes. You're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> well, don't you look oh. mischievous. Oh. Hey, if you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver for the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You'd better go and take a look. I'll stand guard by the elevator and make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. What's happening? Why? It all happens in one day. 
so many questions, no answers. Okay. Clean. Inspect. Opposing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Uh, okay, let's read it first. Dear Mr. Vaston, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarington Hotel and Weston's department store. Thanks to your generous help, the renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. You should come visit soon when your busy schedule allows it, of course. On another note, it has come to my, my attention that you have formed a group of local businessmen to oppose the construction of the new mental hospital. After working so hard to elevate the Clangton standards, I cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in my backyard. Should you accept it, it will be an honor and a privilege to join your fight. Quarterly, yours sincerely, Bernard Ledoc. And written by Eugene, enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted prick. Oh. So, I take it the open window was not an accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. So, I take it the open window was not an accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. Aha! Let's get you to that vent. No, I will leave it. Or... What? Wait, I cleaned it. Or I must... Uh, close it. And throw it away. Let's find something on Bernard. Oh. Uh, check on room 602. Ask Eugen to fix radiator. Call Weston's office. Apologize to Mr. and Mrs. Drake for Valentine's ball mishap. Speak with contractor about cost of runs. Call Weston's office again. Decide winner of for employee of the month reward. Okay, nothing else here. It's his to-do list. Can I read this one? Oh. Ew. Is this Windows? Let's keep it there. I don't know. What is better? To throw it away or leave it there? I mean, he needs his job, right? I wish I worked here when Raymond was in charge. Sounds like the hotel was very different back then. The Clanton Hotel changes. Well, just look at these distinguished gentlemen. And a young Bernard. Yeah. Even now it doesn't look that, that way. Okay, I think I will tr Ooh, inspect. Uh, Mr. Ledoc, my employee has made the following quest. To avoid unwanted attention, his identity should remain secret to both guests and staff. The temperature in room 602 should be kept at exactly 22 degrees Celsius. His dogs should be fed a very best roast beef. His room should be cleaned every day at 11.30 a.m. on the dot. Eggs should be banned from his room service orders. No one should disturb him between the hours of 4 and 5 p.m. More requests shall follow once my employer takes possession of his room. Thank you. Eh. Diva. Okay. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's throw it away. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to avoid that. 
Yeah, like... Eugene... Like... That, that I understand... Surely you're breaking him. over my now. No, it's not. I came by here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to... It's my time of the month. I... Uh... You're married, aren't you? So, you know how it is. I have to go more often, and... Oh, sometimes I stain the furniture, and, and don't get me started on all the... Go away! Why are you standing there? I... Miss Bellivet, what were you doing in my office? Uh, I wasn't. Someone left the door ajar. I wasn't... I was... I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Must have been Eugene. Yeah. Well, don't you have work to do? Yes, yeah. sir. Then get to it. Uh, Mr. Drake has asked to see you. Again? God, he just can't get enough of me, can he? Just indulge him. Ooh, Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such loyal guests. Okay, fine. That was a close one. Yeah, I had a few cold sweats, but at least I found what I was looking for. Good. Well, if you need me, I'll be attending to the whims and worries of our entitled client... guests. Don't be a stranger. Okay, okay. That's nice, Bernard Whisperer. So we're going back. Are we? Time to see what secrets that vent is holding. Yeah, exactly. So we must I know it's better I think to not make any This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. Yeah, but it's already a past. I haven't danced since Grandma's seventieth. <laughs> she definitely upstaged me. Okay. Okay, so we can just throw it away. Because it's a... Uh, not new thing. Nice. Nice. No. What about this one? I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now, but that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. But what? Wait. All right, let's open the vent. What I must do first? Complete. So we make 505, 506, 507, no, 509. Okay, so let's go 508 then. Let's do this quick. We want it to be best for her. Okay. Do they don't need to put it back somewhere? Like where it, where it was before? Oh, really? Not nice to have this. I mean, I understand that they don't use it. Like a normal guests. Oh. I mean, do you don't need to change like all of this? Not just make bad. That's really strange. Oh. Ew. 
Safi, you must uh, clean your hands after that. Pick up, pick up, nice. So here is everything okay, I think. I just think that there might be no no time to do this next. So let's go. We must clean rooms, right? This is our main objective. That's our work. Okay, we don't need to do this. Hmm. Okay, that was not used. Okay, everything is okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was fast. We don't need... Why we don't use a uh, vacuum cleaner here? I mean, she used it at the beginning. And then she take it somewhere. Nice. Let's go. It would be better if they make it uh, the way, uh, like usual, if you uh, finish some job, you actually cross it out from your list. Isn't that better? Uh Ow. And she returned to their room? That's so bad idea. So we already know some of the... So this is M. Which way M is closer? 3 is... Uh, e. So tilde is T. Meet me. Five is O. Uh, slash N. Four is I. Is there an N sign? No, I don't remember. So this is H. Tonight. Wait, H. Where am I going? Tonight. So this is G. in my room. Equals is S. Wait, this is L. Yeah, we must place at least the ones we know. This is W.
Yeah, equals is S. Sleeping. Yeah, this. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? That's not what I wanted. This must be P then. Sleeping. We. Oh, we know this one. Yeah. O is D. O is D. Need to discuss. Well, what? Our plan. So, six is you. Who is A? So, this was must be. C. But why C? Oh, it's different. We'll be sleeping. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Okay. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hello, Bean. Anything new to report? Uh, can you look up a guest? I found another secret I message. I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? Who's that? Another husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the logbook. Yeah. There's a Michael staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. Hmm. Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Well, I could call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang on. Oh, no. Now, we must definitely... Ooh, there's a cup. There's a cup that we must take. I missed it. All clear, Bean. Head on over. Thanks, Beth. I'll call you back. Oh, what's with this cord? I didn't see that one. Yep. So, no more dirt, right? Are we only inspecting this? I mean... One of our more expensive bottles. Was there a special occasion? It's partial, so we will not throw anything away. So, we will end it here. Whew, and we're going to room 507 next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash like if you did. Leave your comments and subscribe. See you in next videos. Bye.